Hello everybody and welcome. Today I had originally wanted to go over uh, something special for the holiday season uh, because I, I had a, a previous video where I discussed my least favorite gaming mechanics in board games. Uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to do uh, sort of the opposite where I say these are the uh, my top uh, game mechanics that we are thankful for. Um, you know, because the holidays. Uh, but unfortunately, with some uh, some bad news that I uh, recently received, I've been thinking a lot more about uh, my childhood, believe it or not. And um, one one thing that I can always remember doing is when I would go and visit my uh, grandparents with uh, with my parents then one thing that we would always do is we would always just uh, sit around and uh, just play games and I can remember being six or seven and uh, my uh, my grandfather just beating the snot out of me in chess because I was so bad at it and uh, and it got to the point where he would always have to tell me <laughs> When he was about to take my pieces because I had no clue. Uh, but I was only six years old, so I think it's okay. And then I remember um, we, we would all sit around together as a family at the, uh, the, the big table that uh, my grandparents had. And we would all play Scrabble together, which, again, is a game that I'm absolutely terrible at. And uh, one, uh, one of the games that I uh, don't own, unfortunately. But... Um, I, I just remember that uh, when, when I think about them, those are the kinds of uh, things that I remember. I remember uh, just being able to sit and play uh, all these games. So I decided to change this instead of doing the uh, top five uh, mechanics that we are thankful for. Uh, more go into the, uh, the top five uh, things that board games uh, can do for us that uh, we are thankful for or that we really should be thankful for. So uh, with that, I'll, I'll go ahead and get started. I'm, uh, I, I'm not going to be showcasing any games or anything, uh, but I just wanted to, uh, to go over uh, these and just uh, hopefully get a, uh, just a, a general sort of message out and to show that you know, we, we can do a lot of things and there are ways that board games can really help us do these. <clears throat> so uh, to start off, one thing that I uh, noticed uh, with uh, a lot of board games is that it's a great way to meet new people. Um, uh, when I was uh, doing my undergraduate work, uh, a lot, most of my favorite memories were actually from Saturday nights when we would have board gaming nights at uh, one of uh, the uh, my uh, co-workers' houses. I still keep in touch with uh, most of them at least. And uh, it, it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience to be able to uh, just go over there and, you know, we all eat food together and then we just play board games for, you know, six hours uh, straight. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to, uh, to just meet new people. And uh, whenever I moved for my graduate work, one of the first things I did was try to find a uh, board gaming group. Um, and a uh, role-playing game like uh, Dungeons and Dragons at the time and all that kind of stuff just to uh, again uh, keep uh, keep with it and uh, meet more people and um, and that was almost six years ago now and I still have uh, relationships with all of the the people that I first started playing with when I first got here it's uh, an incredible way to uh, not only meet new people but to uh, but to uh, just you know see uh, what other kinds of games are out there which is uh, just a, a wonderful experience as well and uh, next the uh, well, one of the other things the I guess number four uh, <laughs> not really keeping track of the numbers here uh, but uh, one of the the other things is just uh, being able to maintain relationships. A, a lot of things, especially nowadays with technology and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I hate to be that weird old guy, but the the old school analog board gaming is a wonderful social experience, and it still is. It always has been. It, it's a uh, it's just a great feeling to be able to sit down and play games with friends and family and you know, just catch up, see what everybody's doing, how everybody's doing, all of that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful thing to do. And it's just, 
uh, it's it's a a great it's a great resource to have uh, because you know people can you can host your dinner parties you can do whatever you want in those in that sense but um, just being able to really sit down and, and play something just really helps me and I know it can help a lot of other people just uh, maintain uh, some really good relationships like that um, so then uh, next I um, I guess number three again if you're keeping track is um, you can learn a lot <laughs> Not only can you learn a lot about different things, you can learn a lot about just stuff in general, but you can learn about people. And um, again, I mean, you can meet people, you can maintain your relationships with them, but there's just something about being able to sit down at a board game and just being able to really see how people think. Uh, being able to see how your, uh, your friends and family uh, think and solve problems and are able to go through this and, um, and know how um like just how their minds work and it's uh it makes it great uh especially for uh the i guess the stereotypical gamer i i don't want to be stereotypical with it but you know if social socially inept people like me i am quite uh, socially inept uh tend to uh be able to go into a lot of things like gaming or whatever it happens to be and uh be able to maintain relationships in those uh, specific circles and in, uh, in those spheres uh, that they they still have whatever it uh, happens to be um, and uh, and it's a great way to uh, to expand your uh, your friendships uh, to again stay close with your family and uh, for uh, for this purpose to uh, learn more about people because I know that that is one of the best ways I have found to learn about people is to just sit down and just play a game uh, whatever it happens to be and um, yeah uh, so then the, uh, the, the second one, I, I guess, is uh, sort of an expansion on uh, the fourth one where, again, uh, you know, being the, the old guy and analog and all that kind of stuff, you know, I, I do play video games a lot, obviously, if you uh, pay attention to my channel, but um, you, you just cannot beat the experience of uh, just sitting and being with people in... Um, in this uh, this sense of gaming, I mean, obviously, you know, with video games, you can have like LAN parties and stuff like that. That's perfect. It's great just to be able to uh, to get together, be in the same room, and just have that shared experience uh, with one another. And um, <coughs> excuse me, and being able to feel like uh, in the end you you're accomplishing things. You're you're actually doing stuff. Uh, it might not make a difference. You're uh, you you're not changing the world or anything, but you feel like what you're doing matters. Uh, what what you're uh, what you're doing in a board game make, makes a difference. I know that sounds kind of stupid when you're you know it's it's a board game, but whatever. Uh, but again, uh, for for the purposes of this, it's really looking beyond the board and the pieces and the cards and all that kind of stuff and looking more at just the experience that you have and the ability that you have to uh, to be able to connect and learn uh, with and about people and it's just it's it's an incredible incredible thing and um, the last uh, the last thing is sort of a culmination of, uh, of all of them where it's just that you um, you get to uh, maintain something uh, with board games and uh, with I mean with video games you know you can play online whatever it is you know you have chat and all that stuff which is it's okay but I mean again it's you're sitting at a table with your friends and your family and there's just something about the connection that you can get with just playing a game and it's not something that you expect when you start but then when you think about it when you uh, put it into perspective and when you think about it in retrospect it's like I know at least for me and I'm sure for for many people who watch my channel who are more than likely uh, big board gamers themselves uh, I, I can trace many, many, many of my friendships and long-term long friendships and relationships to starting off with gaming and just being able to sit and play a game and then from there just build and build and build. And not only that, but then meeting up later 
uh, later on and saying, you know, it's like, oh, you remember this, and it's it's just an experience uh, to have that um, that you can just feel uh, feel like a, a genuine connection with people through gaming and absolutely an incredible feeling at that just a, a wonderful a wonderful thing so um, just with, uh, with with everything just what, what I really want to get across is uh, I, I do apologize by the way what I really want to get across uh, with with all of this is that board games are fun video games are fun we have a good time. We can use them to uh, to fill gaps. We can use them uh, because we're bored. We uh, we use them to just do wh whatever it is that we do. But I ask you, if you get a chance, use vid use video games, use board games, use any sort of things like these as a sort of social tool because they. They work incredibly as a social tool, and unfortunately for me, it's a little bit late in really realizing the exact potential for it. But it's a wonderful experience that you can have with people of all ages. Anybody is able to play <laughs> and, and beat you, I might add. Um, anybody is able to just have a good time, even if normally you wouldn't be having a good time and it's just it's a transcendent experience um, especially in retrospect unfortunately but um, li live within the games with your friends with your families use them as the social tools for which they are really a lot designed for um, to, uh, to really bring people together and to uh, let us play games and be uh, that sort of really special feeling that uh, that we can get but uh, regardless uh, with that thank you very much uh, for watching this I know that it was just a giant rambling uh, mostly a lot of nothingness uh, for you all but I, I do say please uh, this holiday season especially go try playing games with your family try playing games with friends who have never done it before you might be surprised start off with something light play uh, play something li little even you know, scrabble monopoly life just some kind of game something get get the experience that you can have from these games and keep it for as long as you are able to and and have a a very happy, very merry, very whatever it is, holiday season uh, with a, a wonderful time and a wonderful, great deal of family time, friend time, and happiness. And try to make your hobbies a part of it because you might be surprised what you can get out of a game of Scrabble.